What are you waiting for? Come join the Geek Drums Nation. What is up, guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be covering this new Marvel complete timeline with the Netflix shows added in over on Disney+. Plus. I want to go over it because it's it's, it's pretty interesting to me and guys 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 if you are new here you can subscribe to my channel you can like this video you can share it around on social media to your friends and family that's what it is here for that is what i am here for to be a news source for all things marvel dc pop culture in general i'm going to be covering bel air things like that when it comes back so uh yeah i'm looking to have a lot of fun this year and uh, I have a live stream every Tuesday. You can join in on that as well. You can become a channel member. You can take part in those perks. And uh, well, yeah, look, without further ado, let's just jump right into this thing. Okay, so the MCU complete timeline. So as we know, it starts off with Captain America, the first Avenger, then jumps to Agent Carter. Then we jump to Captain Marvel, then Iron Man. After that is Iron Man 2, then the Incredible Hulk which I find interesting because I thought it was the other way around. But I may just be a little slow. So after that, we have the Marvel one shot with a, a funny thing happened on the way to Thor's hammer. Then we have Thor. Then we have another Marvel one shot, the consultant. Then we jump into Avengers where Coulson does die. Then we have another Marvel one shot, uh, item 47, which is right before Thor, the dark world. So after that, we have Iron Man three, then another Marvel one shot, all hail the king. After that, we have Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy. Right after Guardians is Guardians Volume 2 because we know that takes place right after. And then we jump into the I Am Groot miniseries. Then we have Daredevil. Then Jessica Jones. But then we jump into Avengers Age of Ultron. I find that really, really interesting. I thought Luke Cage took place, you know, right after that and Iron Fist. But I guess not. So after Avengers Age of Ultron, we have the first Ant-Man film. Then we have Luke Cage. Then we have Iron Fist. Now, guys, this is what I found really, really interesting. I found their placement very interesting because it's split from the rest of the shows. So, uh, guys, let me know what you think about that down below. I trust Marvel. I just never thought it went in this order. I found that really weird. But, hey, that's what they said, right? This is the complete timeline. So what's next after that? We have the Defenders. Then Captain America Civil War. Okay. So after that, we have the Black Widow film. Then Black Panther and spider-man homecoming then the punisher i thought the punisher took place right after okay so after the punisher we have the first doctor strange film then we have thor ragnarok which makes sense then we have ant-man and the wasp and then we jump right into avengers infinity war and then avengers endgame and then loki and then what if and then wandavision this is interesting then shang chi then Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Then Spider-Man Far From Home. I thought this took place before Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But then you have the Eternals. Then you have Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness. Then you have Hawkeye. And, well, we all know after Hawkeye would come the uh, the uh, Spider-Man film, Spider-Man No Way Home. Because it took place around Christmas time. I think that would, you know, that would fall somewhere in between these two. I think it'll fall in between these two. But then you have Moon Knight. Then you have Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Then you got Echo. And Echo is taking place. Well, I would you I would think Echo would be taking place right after Hawkeye. Am I losing my mind? I, I don't know, guys. You let me know. What do you think? Uh, then you have she Hulk, uh, uh, she Hulk, attorney at law. Then you have Miss Marvel. Then you have Thor: Love and Thunder. Then you have Werewolf by Night. Then you have the Guardians Holiday Special. You think this would be take? You would think this takes place. Okay, yeah, this timeline doesn't make sense. I think these are just put on here. Then you have Ant Man: Quantumania. Then you have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, Secret Invasion. Then the Marvels. I don't know, guys. The last few of those, they don't really make sense for me. <laughs> they don't make sense to me at all. Uh, but like I said, maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking too much into it. What do you guys think? Am I thinking too much into it? I think my guys had sent me a updated like like that Disney had basically split all the series and like placed their individual seasons. 
trying to see if I can pull that up. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Cause that's that's just crazy. Okay, so let me see. Um, how does that look for you guys? Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Zoom in on that for you guys. No, no. Okay, so I guess this is as good as I'm going to get. But uh, so it says Captain America, Agent Carter, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Iron Man 2. And they just split the seasons of the shows, it seems like. So after Garden Volume 2 is group season 1 and season 2. But then you have season 1 of Daredevil. And you have season 1 of Jessica Jones. But then you jump into Avengers 2, Ant-Man. Then you have season 2 of Daredevil. And season 1 of Luke Cage, season 1 of Iron Fist, then Defenders. So then you jump to Civil War. Black Widow, Black Panther, Spider-Man Homecoming. Then you have Punisher Season 1. You do Doctor Strange. Then you have Jessica Jones Season 2. Then you have Season 2 of Luke Cage and Season 2 of Iron Fist. And then Season 3 of Daredevil. But then you jump to Thor Ragnarok. Then you have Punisher Season 2. And then Jessica Jones Season 3. Hmm. Then you do Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, Infinity War, Endgame. Then you have Loki Season 1. Then you have What If Season 1. Then you do WandaVision, which was a miniseries. Shang-Chi. Then you have Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which was a miniseries. And you jump to all the oddly misplaced shows down here. But once you get past the Marvels, you have Season 2 of Loki and then Season 2 of What If. So that kind of makes a little bit more sense to me. Not really. Um, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about this completed timeline? What do you think um let me know your thoughts like i said like share and subscribe this around i just thought this was very interesting to take a look at and then i got this new list sent to me today so yeah what, what do you guys think i think it's interesting that they're trying to put this stuff in order as best as they can but like i said a few of these just don't seem right to me and well you know like with um echo and she hulk that those seem oddly placed to me because i would think echo would be placed somewhere in between hawkeye and would i guess they placed it here because it does expand because it i guess it recaps from hawkeye and then picked and then just goes on into present day if you will but maybe i'm thinking too much into it guys like i said let me know in the comment section down below um be on the lookout for more videos for me i'm getting back into the hang of actually sitting down and filming these videos it's a new year i want to get you all some good content so like i said like share and subscribe become a member if you want to take part in those perks and i will catch you all next time